Hello, everyone. Well, Tesla has brought back their referral program where current Tesla owners can refer people uh, who are looking to buy a Tesla and receive a discount. So yeah, the buyers would receive, in this case, a $500 discount for a Model 3 or Y or a $1,000 discount for an S or an X. And the person who referred them would get uh, points that they can use in the Tesla store for gear. The media is painting this as part of the price war with Tesla lowering prices. And this is just another step in that direction, which, yeah, sure, it's Tesla marketing to keep people engaged and interested in, in Tesla and yeah, offering some discounts for sure. But the media likes to, they seem to always want to point out the comments that uh, that Elon made in the investor day where he said that he'd be willing to drop the margins to zero and just keep uh, keep delivering as many vehicles as possible. Well, they're nowhere near that. Uh, the last account was margins were at about 19%, <clears throat> highest in the industry. And yeah, we've had some discounts since then. So at the next earnings uh, report, which is on the 19th, we might see that they dropped a little bit, but I don't think there's anything to be concerned about in Tesla's case as far as uh, margins. Tesla is going to keep setting sales records as they have been, selling more and more vehicles world worldwide. There may be some pockets where like, you could point out a region and be like, oh, well, the sales slow down in this specific region. But that could be due to just they didn't ship uh, any cars there. Like it might be a place in the Europe, say, where they have to ship the cars in. Or like Australia is a good example. There's no manufacturing in Australia, so it all has to be shipped there. So there may be months when Australia is low, but you have to look and see like, well, did they ship anything there that, that quarter? But I think it's just best to, to look at the big picture. Uh, is Tesla continuing to increase their sales year over year, month over month, quarter over quarter, which they have been? I don't see any reason to believe that that would stop. Yeah, it may slow down slightly from time to time, but I don't see any concerns on the horizon. The, the transition to electric vehicles is well underway. And yeah, some analysts think that for some reason at 20% market penetration, that's going to slow down, I guess, because they assume that only 20% of people really want an electric vehicle, but I don't think it works like that. I think somebody gets an electric vehicle, their neighbor sees it, they hear the reviews and they're, and they realize like, Oh, like, yeah, yeah, I could live with that. Like, oh, I don't need gas anymore. And oh, I would save this much money on maintenance and whatnot. And it just snowballs and more and more people want an electric vehicle. So I don't think there's going to be any slowdown in demand. So for Tesla, the, the bottleneck is production. How much can Tesla produce and that's that's what's going to throttle the numbers. If if there's another COVID situation and they're forced to shut down their factories or, you know, they have some problems at the factories, they can't ramp up or whatever and, and produce as many as they like, then that's, to me, that's going to be the, the controlling factor for Tesla on sales. It's the demand is there. You just have to, they just have to produce them which is not easy. That's a lot of work to produce these vehicles, which a lot of companies are now finding out. So yeah, the next big uh, event is the 19th. And then we'll see what the, those numbers were for quarter two of 2023. The analysts are going to be looking at that. Uh, the margins should be somewhere between, I would guess, 16 to 20%, somewhere in there. But nothing game changing for Tesla. They're, they're making good money on the sales of their vehicles. So Tesla killing it as usual. So keep up the good work, Tesla. And that's it for this one. My name is Evan Bertrand. This is the Evergreen channel. Give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe by clicking on the wheel in the bottom right.
and thanks for watching.